For this example, we're going to try to find the Taylor series for the natural log function centered around x equals 1. Now, notice I didn't call it a Maclaurin series this time because it wasn't centered at 0, it was centered at 1. Just a little, little side note there. Okay, so obviously what I'm after is to take natural log of x and somehow write it in terms of a series type of notation <clears throat> so that I can express this function by a series. The obvious place to start is with the kind of the general template of a Taylor series. What you have is the nth derivative of the function evaluated at the center divided by n factorial times x minus c to the nth power. Now notice out of all these terms the n factorial and the x minus c to the n those don't depend on the function. So the Taylor series for any function has an n factorial and an x minus c to the nth power. It's only this term here that's going to change you know, series to series. So what we typically do is we'll write down the first few derivatives and then plug in c and see if we can find a pattern for that numerator, that part that's going to change problem to problem. Okay, so our function is natural log of x. The derivative of natural log would make 1 over x. But then to take his derivative, we would start thinking of these as the power rule. We'd write this as x to the negative 1. Derivative of x to the negative 1 would make minus x to the minus 2. So in other words, negative 1 over x squared. The derivative of that would make positive 2 over x cubed. How do I know that? Well, we would rewrite this guy as negative x to the minus 2. So you bring the negative 2 down and it'll change sign and bring a coefficient of 2 down with a negative 3 in the exponent. That's why it's 2 over x to the third. So I don't kind of run out of space. I'm not going to write anymore. But the next one would have a 6 x to the negative 4, right? Um, actually, negative 6 x to the negative 4 because we would write this guy as 2 x to the negative 3. So you get negative 6 x to the negative 4. So um, all of that's good to know, but at the end of the day, that's actually not what I need. I need these guys actually evaluated at the center. So let me take all these guys and plug in 1, plug in the center into all these guys. Natural log of 1 is 0, 1 over 1 is 1, negative 1 over 1 is negative 1, 2 over 1 makes 2. All right, so we have 0, 1, negative 1, 2. Now that's kind of a weird pattern there. I, it was kind of hard to see any pattern going on there. So what we typically do is once we have these, especially if it's not obvious what the pattern is, we will typically go back to the beginning right go back to the beginning and let's write the series out long ways and then see if we can find a pattern okay so you remember we have a fraction x minus 0 sorry not x minus 0 x minus 1 to the 0 and then plus a fraction x minus 1 to the first plus a fraction x minus 1 to the second and dot 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 so on and so forth so what what are these terms here well this is a 0 factorial 1 factorial 2 factorial 3 factorial etc let me see if I can squeeze in that one so we'd have blank over 3 factorial x minus 1 to the third sorry that's kind of squeezing that in there alright plus dot 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 right plus these terms keep on going and then what are these numerators well, these numerators are these guys in pink that we just found, the nth derivative evaluated at 1. That was these guys who went 0, 1, negative 1, 2. Weird. So let's write that down. Okay, we'd have 0, 1, negative 1, 2, and then some, some additional terms too. First thing I see right off the bat is since this is times 0, he is gone. Let me start writing the rest of these down. This would be equal to, we'd have x minus 1. This would be minus uh, 1 over 2, right? 1 over 2. 
uh, times x minus 1 squared, because 2 factorial is 2, then we'd have plus 2 over 3 factorial, but 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, and so if you cancel the 2, you're really just left with a 3. So we'd have 1 over 3 period, not factorial, just a 3, x minus 1 to the 4th, Okay, and then plus dot dot dot. Okay, so do, do we see a pattern that's going on here? I, I think we do, I think we do. So let's see if we can write it down. All right, we'd have the sum. All right, now this is a strange one because the zeroth term went away. So I don't think this series is gonna start at zero. I think this one would be better starting at one instead of zero because the first term was not there. From one to infinity, of let's see let's see if we can dissect what's what in, in this pattern here I do see that we always have uh, an x minus 1 to the n x minus 1 to the first the second the oh I made a typo my fault I'm sorry about that I, I hope I said that right but this is supposed to be a 3 not a 4 right because 2 over 3 factorial gives you 3 x minus 1 to the third. I had it written correct here, but sorry, I accidentally wrote that as a 4. Okay, so anyway, um, to the third, so that's correct, and then x minus 1 to the fourth and fifth and so on and so forth, okay? Um, let's see, another thing that I notice is that this goes from positive to negative to positive to negative to positive to negative. That indicates you'd have one of those minus 1 to the n type of guys. Right, minus 1 to the n. There's just one small hiccup. You have to be careful with these minus 1 to the n's. You have to make sure they start on the right track because they can go 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, or negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1. So if n is 1, this term starts off as a negative, negative 1 to the first, but he's supposed to start as a positive. So how do we kick this guy off track? Both of these are correct. You could either say negative 1 to the n plus 1 or n minus 1. Both are correct. Basically, you're just trying to kick that exponent from an, an odd to an even, right, to get, to get kick started. All right, over, well, these denominators, I've got 1 over 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 4, etc. I think that's just over n, no factorial, I think just an n. Uh, now, if you're a little shaky on this, you're not quite sure if you really want to make sure you got this right, no big deal. Just do a few more terms. I just didn't have a whole lot of space here, so I only did four terms. But, you know, do five terms, do six terms, do seven terms. Do enough to convince yourself that you do have the correct pattern. So, uh, nevertheless, I think we're finished. Um, this guy right here would be the power series representation for the natural log function centered specifically around x equals 1. And you can even see that from the series because you've got x minus c. We've got an x minus 1.